In the 12th century before Christ, the Israelite peoples came to dwell in Palestine. But here they forgot Jehovah and the blessings they had received from him, and they began to adore false gods. Jehovah once more abandoned his children and delivered them into the hands of their enemies. However, the Lord was moved to compassion, and so he sent them exceptional men who were capable of rekindling the spark of true faith in the heart of Israel and of leading it to reconquer its freedom. The people gave the name of judges to these great leaders. Two of them were Gideon and Samson. You're the only one who saved his crop. It takes a clever man to do that, Gideon. All the others were taken by surprise in the fields. But not you. That's too bad for them. You all know that the same thing happens every year. No sooner is the harvest ready than those greedy Midianites descend. Like locusts. They don't leave us a sheep, an axe, a grain of wheat, nothing. Why can't the others think of it in time? I cut my grain when it's still a bit green and bring it up here. Maybe it's the fault of the people down there, around the altar of Baal. Even if they believed in Jehovah, they wouldn't be spared. They're not very bright, that's all. They've become idol worshippers. They've done evil in the eyes of Jehovah. And Jehovah has abandoned them. I knew it. I knew it the moment I set eyes on you. Every time we're in trouble, someone arrives with a sermon all ready for us. Prophets and wise men. That's all Jehovah sends us. And all they ever do is repeat, you've become Idol worshippers, you've done evil in the eyes of Jehovah. Jehovah has abandoned you. Jehovah's also sent you his judges. Sure, he has. But for some time now, we've had to make do with prophets. Unless you are the new judge who's come to save Israel from the Midianites. No, Gideon, I'm not. But I know whom the Lord has chosen this time. You do, do you? And who could he be? It's you, Gideon. Look here, friend. That's not funny at all. It wasn't meant to be funny. Who are you, anyway? You spring up out of nowhere. You know all about me, and I don't know anything about you. I'm Gideon, all right, but as far as I'm concerned, you're nobody. The Lord knows you are a brave man, and even if you don't seem to be aware of it, you will free your brothers from the yoke of Midian. Come now. You speak as if the Lord had whispered all that stuff in your ear. <laughs> he has. <laughs> 
give you. Oh, stop it! My family is the poorest in the tribe of Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. How can you think the that... The Lord is with you. What are you afraid of? The first thing you must do is this. Take a young bull and pull down the altar of Baal. Cut down its sacred pole. Then build there an altar to the Lord your God and sacrifice the bull to him. No, you can't. You, you can't order me to do that. If I destroy the altar of Baal, they, they will tear me to pieces. I'm I... not the one who's asking you, Gideon. It is the Lord who orders you. Your own conscience wants it. Where are you going? Oh. I haven't slept all night. It, it was much too cold. Ah, oh, yes. When the ghosts were sick, you couldn't sleep either because it was much too cold. What did that stranger want from you? If it were to lead a thousand sheep to pasture, or even hold back a herd of wild horses, sure, I could do it. And I'm not just bragging. Because when that mad bull had to be stopped, you saw I was the only one up to it. But that fellow... Which fellow? That stranger. He talks on and on, playing with that little stick he always carries. If I tell you everything, you'll get angry. But you won't, will you? All right, then don't. Keep your troubles to yourself and let me sleep in peace. It seems Jehovah has sent you to tell me I must save my people from the Midianites. And you believed it? Uh, it's hard to know whether to believe or not. Did he ask you to pull down the altar of Baal? Yes, but I confess, I'd been thinking about it myself. But don't worry. I've asked him to give me a sign. I put a goat skin out in front of the house. If Jehovah wants me to free Israel, this morning the skin must be covered with dew while all the ground around it must be dry. So that's why you got up? Yes, that's why. But it's still dark outside. I know, but I'm impatient. That's what you wanted, isn't it? Did you sleep out here? I had to. No one asked me in. I know, but... Was it full? Yes. And what became of the water? I drank it. I don't know why, but last night I felt very thirsty. 
Come now, tell me. What must I do to put your mind at rest? Hmm. You mustn't think I'm any different from the other peasants. I have all their faults. And maybe a few more besides. Are you hungry? Mm, it'll break your teeth. Distrustful. That's what all peasants are. And you can't really blame them. What I mean to say is, I want another proof. But not like the first one. This time, this time the goatskin must be dry, while all the ground around it must be covered with dew. Very well. Very well. Is that all you can say? Very well. And this time, we'll both go in my stable and wait there together. Very well. Come on. to lead people. I can tell them how to hide their wheat or how to... Here, this is my son. You see? He has a knife in his hand. Ask him what he's got to do this morning. All right, then I'll tell you myself. I don't even have the courage to kill a rabbit. When it has to be done, he's the one who does it. Otherwise, I... Everyone, everyone here knows it. I... Who'd follow me into battle against the Midianites? <laughs> Maybe you're right. Yeah. Still, you might at least give it a try. Shadow is already up to the stone. And I still can't see anybody. It hasn't reached the center yet. It's almost there. They're coming. <laughs> Sabula. On the right, the men of Naphtali. On the left, the tribe of Manasseh.
<laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, my friend. <laughs> Good. <laughs> How many soldiers do you think there are? Uh, how many? How many more or less? Perhaps two thousand. <laughs> Nearly five thousand. <000. laughs> I told you to stay home. But I... I finished all there was to do. The, the grain's all fresh and, and the hay... On the farm there's always something to do. Understand? Yes. what I have in mind. We'll attack the Midianites in a new way. First, the animals. Goats, asses, the few horses we have. And then, we'll send forward the old men. And the, uh, the young will follow. Don't you think that would be too many? What? All those men? But what you say about yourself is right. Even a blind man can see you're the last man on earth to wage a war. And maybe that's why Jehovah has chosen you. Ah. Is that... Is that your opinion or... Are you saying it because... Mm, it's my opinion. Ah. It seems to me the important thing isn't just to win, but to win with a handful of men. And they must be led by someone like you, like me. That's the only way the people of Israel will realize they have been saved. And saved by Jehovah. Ah. I don't know what to say. I am willing to do anything. Cut off my hair, grow a long beard. Bring me some stone. If you want, I'll start eating the stone. Yeah. too many of us. And I'm afraid it'll be like when people of goodwill have to work in the fields with others who are lazy or tired. Then the work doesn't go well at all. The more people there are, the less work gets done. War is also a kind of work, the most terrible kind of work, the most unrewarding. I know I'm asking a great sacrifice of you, but I'll say it just the same. 
Whoever is afraid can go home. What? You let anybody who's afraid vanish into thin air? Anyone, Fuller, except you. go home if we wanted? I did. But I thought only old men and boys would go. So much the worse for you. Go. Go, you cowards! Uh, this keeps up. There'll be only two or three thousand left. If you ask me, that's still too many. However, I... I wonder why we don't charge the Midianites. Just the two of us. Maybe you're right. We're still too many. It's better to outwit the Midianites. I have a, a very clever plan. I see you're beginning to talk sense. There's still one problem I can't solve. How can I send home all these men we don't need? There must be some way. It shouldn't be too difficult. You could do it this way. At the next spring, some men will drink water calmly with their hands. Those you'll keep with you. And you'll send home those who throw themselves down and lap up the water with their tongues. Ah. Ah. Look here, son. Soon, we'll reach the well of Harrod. And I want to give you some good advice. Get out of here! You're all sweaty and your hands are dirty. When you drink, lap up the water with your tongue. How many are there? 
Not many. How many? Uh, about 300. Only 300? Huh. Only 300. I'll teach you to disobey. I told you not to drink with your hands. Who look after your mother now? You selfish brat. I haven't the courage to tell the others we don't need them. You speak to them. Tell them that lions and wild beasts are caught only by cunning, with traps. I think it's a good idea or not. Excellent. <laughs> Have you taken your picture? I won't need it. I'll stand aside and watch. What? You'll stand aside? I didn't drink a drop with my hands, did I? <laughs> You've had your fun, friend, but don't overdo it. You're coming with us? Or else I'm going home like the others. What's become of him? Who? The fellow with the little stick. That friend of mine. Wasn't he here? Near you? He's gone. Come and see. and Jeter's men are already moving forward.
You left your picture behind. I don't think I've lied to you. After all, you've won. I know I have. But it was due to my courage after you made me fight with only a handful of men. <laughs> Why are you smiling? I'm smiling because this too was foreseen. What was foreseen? That you'd lose your head. Don't you see? Now you think you're the one who defeated the Midianites with pitches and torches. Well, who did it then? It was the fire. In their fright, they slaughtered each other. Surely you saw it happen. Yes, but if I'd stayed behind like you... Your cowardice was not foreseen. All right, then. You who know everything, tell me, what do you foresee I'll do next? You'll pursue the Midianites. <laughs> Not a chance. I may be a pedant, but I do know our men on foot can never catch up with camels in flight. <laughs> Porter, come here. Take some horses, rush to the mountain of Ephraim. Tell all the men of Israel to occupy the fords along the Jordan. They must attack and uh, crush the Midianites when they try to cross the river. Go now! <laughs>
going. Three years. Three years I've been waiting. Never a word. Only rumors. You're right, Mother. But the war went on and on. It seemed it only lasted a day. But instead... You... You've grown thinner. <laughs> no. It's only the journey. <laughs> Three days on horseback. But now, it's all over. Yes, it is. The kings of the Midianites, Zeba and Zalmunna, are our prisoners. And your father? Why hasn't he come? He'll soon be here, as soon as he can make it. You know, he's won great victories, many honors. It seems they want to make him king. Yes, I know. They've told me many things about him. It's gone to his head. But Gideon belongs here, in the fields. Does he know his father died? Yes. Oh. Maybe you're right. About what? We're people who have always lived on the land. We're good at it. Can't you smell it? Smell what? The orange trees. <laughs> Will you stay at home now? Well, no. I must be off again. But we'll come back soon. And for good. When you have to go. We'll talk about it later. Why do you... Tell me now. Right away. They're expecting me in two days. I'll have to ride all night to get there in time. Then you shouldn't have come. You shouldn't have come. You shouldn't have come. You shouldn't have come. <laughs> teach a lesson to anyone else who's thinking of standing up to Gideon. Like the peoples of Sogoth Penuel. I'll tear their cursed flesh with thorns and briars. And now bring Zeban Zelmuna here.
Come here, Jada. For you, my son, the honor of killing them. I can't do it, Father. I said kill them. the shame of being killed by a boy. Kings must be killed by kings, Gideon. others to do it for him, even on the battlefield. <laughs> Israel thanks you. You must reign over us, and after you, your son, and the son of your son, because you have freed us from Midian. I am a peasant. A peasant. I didn't free you. I didn't free you from the yoke of Midian. Jehovah freed you, using me and 300 other simple peasants. We couldn't have destroyed such a well-trained army without the help of God. No, my friends, I will not rule over you, nor will my son. Jehovah will rule over you. Thus, Gideon renounced the throne, but the people were anxious to recompense him, and so his men all contributed to him a part of their individual shares of the war spoils. Gideon built a votive ephod with what was given him and placed it in Ophrah, where he was born. Then he returned to his fields, and for the forty remaining years of his life, the Midianites lifted up their heads no more, and the country was in peace. Once again, however, the children of Israel remembered not the Lord their God and the blessings they had received from him, and they returned to adoring false gods. And so Jehovah punished them once more and delivered them into the hands of their enemies. Until the Lord was again moved to compassion for his children and caused to rise up among them a new judge. It was a day in spring. Manoah, a man of the family of Danites, was weeding his fields of grain when...
Oh, my husband. We will have a child. Yes, the angel of the Lord appeared to me. Now you are barren and childless, he said. But you will conceive and bear a son. He will be a Nazarite, chosen of the Lord. And he will vow never to cut a hair of his head. And the angel said also, it will be he who begins the deliverance of Israel from the hands of the Philistines. capture and kill your sons, burn your crops and tear down your houses. Samson has dared to challenge us, but you will be forced to pay his bounty to us. We'll persecute the men who have been hiding, and you'll see your streets run red with their blood until you decide that you will give him up to be punished. It's true. The Philistines fear you. The mention of your name terrifies them. But you can see that for yourself, Samson. The moment you are not here to protect us, they take our young men. They steal our animals. And so? And so? 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 We've told you. Now you must make the decision. If I agree to this exchange, do you think the Philistines will set the captives free? and leave you in peace. Samson! Samson! It's Samson! Come and look! See Samson! Samson's been captured! He's our prisoner! Samson! Look at him! Samson! 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 Set us free! Samson! 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 Liberate us! Tear down your pants, Samson! Free us! Samson! Set us free! Put them with the other captives. Okay, go. Move along. Come and free us. Why haven't you kept the promise you made to my people? <laughs> because some promises are made to be broken. <laughs> It was by your orders that I have been brought here. It is enough for me that they have done their job and done it well.
killed by one man. And with what weapon? The jawbone of an ass. And this is the end of a campaign planned for one purpose only, to destroy one man who has beaten us at every turn for almost 20 years. Farin, I still hear your reassuring words. I have a foolproof plan. We won't even have to make the effort to tie him down ourselves. Don't blame me, because your soldiers let him escape. Ah, yes. Nabur. You and your thousand men at arms. Much good they were. We were not defeated by one man. That sudden wind. That storm of dust. Perhaps the God of Israel... Lies! Words! Excuses! There has been wind and dust in the past, and we have won! against greater odds and a larger army than ours. The wind! The God of Israel! I ask myself, what have I done that I have such fools? See that the city gates are closed at once. Wait a minute! Wait! They know you're inside the walls. They're searching every house. We'll have to do something. I'll talk to the soldiers. Many know me. They come here often. And some owe me money. Don't worry. I'm going. But where? The gates are closed. And Gaza is full of armed men looking for you.
Are those the gates Samson stole? Who on? Get the Who on? Like a jar of rare ointment. A red robe. My neck! What do you want? Leave me alone! No! She's a thief! She's a thief! Give me back! I didn't steal anything! Leave me alone! My neck! No! My neck! Leave me alone! I'm not a thief! Let me go! No! I knew as soon as I saw her that she was a thief. Are you sure the god statue is strong enough to support the weight of the temple? Well, it had better be. If the temple falls, so will my head.
They told me that you were very beautiful. And that you deserve a better fate. But perhaps you prefer the quiet life of the country. No. You are not that foolish. Surely you know what it would be like for a beautiful girl to live here. Fine clothes. Jewels. Every luxury. And you also know that these things are not come by for nothing. You see, Delilah, uh, we know that Delilah is your name. All we want to know is, what is the secret of his strength? The man you are living with, the man called Samson. Don't be frightened. You love him? Very well. I promise you I won't have him killed. I could send my soldiers to do that. We have known for some time that he is hiding in your house. And so, justice is laid from you, and you can have anything you want. Look. To finish everything, I'll need a few more Jews. We kill a lot of them on jobs like this. How can you stay here? while the Philistines enslave your brethren. Women and children, too. They are forced to do things that no human being can do. Work fit only for beasts. More die every day. What should I do? God has given you the strength to defend Israel. You are our leader. When I use my strength, they complained. They were more afraid of me than of the Philistines. Don't forget, they even forced me to give myself up to the enemy as a prisoner bound hand and foot. I haven't forgotten. But there have been times when you were wrong, too. You have acted selfishly. And instead of helping your people, you have made their lot harder to bear. God didn't give you your strength for that. Yes, I know. But maybe I don't know how to use it. So let them leave me in peace. Look, she's come back. I would like you to know her. No, Samson. Not today. Besides, I don't want to know her. Why didn't you tell her to say?
Guess what I found. <laughs> In a puddle. I was looking for a stone. Instead, I... A merchant must have lost. I don't like it. It must be false. I've seen more beautiful ones. Where? Around the necks of women more fortunate than I am. Delilah. <laughs> I've been thinking that you don't love me. Otherwise, you would try to make me happy with your strength. You could have everything. You don't know, Delilah. The strength of mine is a burden on me. A heavy load. You could, uh, waylay a caravan. Break the strongest lock. Do I have to be a thief, too? Oh, no, no, not a thief. But it is a pity that you don't use the strength in those great arms. It is in your arms, isn't it? Certainly it's in my arms. Yes, but it isn't just a question of muscles. There must be a secret about it. I would think. Yes, there is a secret. Uh, I could never escape if I were bound with seven wet strips of animal tendons. Like those. Then a child could do what he wanted with me. And so could you. You lost your strength? Yes. Secret. Samson is strong. That's all. Samson is deceiving you, Delilah. That's not true. He loves me. Anyway, it's none of your business. But if you want him, you know where he is. Why don't you go and get him? Are you afraid of just one man? A man who can kill a thousand well-armed men and carry off the gates of Gaza cannot be conquered by force. We don't want to go on, sacrificing our lives for nothing. You promised to find out the secret of his strength. I've tried three times. He just makes fun of me. Hey! 
And besides, I don't want to. You know what is happening to me? I'm becoming fond of this house and of you. I've realized that perhaps... What's the matter with you? It isn't true. I know that you're not happy here. You're thinking of your mother, of your people. And sooner or later, you'll get bored with me and leave. So what do you expect? That I should laugh and joke and be happy? Delilah, once, a long time ago, I met a girl and fell in love. She was the daughter of a certain Tanitha. She betrayed me on the very day of our wedding. From that day, Delilah, I've never trusted a woman. <laughs> but you, Delilah, you are different. You <laughs> want to help me. You're faithful to me. Why are you crying? Oh, I didn't mean to hurt you. I only wanted to tell you that I trust you. <laughs> Listen. I'm going to give you the proof. You've asked me many times to give you a proof, a real proof of my love. All right. I'm going to give you that proof now. I'm going to tell you the secret of my strength. <laughs> no, Samson. No. You're afraid that I'm going to lie to you again. I made up those stories because I wasn't sure that I could trust you. But now, now I know that you could never betray me. No. Delilah. Don't say any more. My hair. All my strength is in my hair. Your hair. It's true, Delilah. I'm a Nazarite. One chosen by God. I made a vow. Never to cut a hair of my head. If I broke my vow. All my strength would leave me. Oh, Samson. Why did you tell me? Why?
More than two months, I've been walking. I'm tired, worn out. I don't know what has kept me going. But why do you come to me? You, you knew Samson. Uh, they told me that you might speak to the guard. Why don't you go to Delilah? She's a better friend of the Philistines than I am now. Don't worry. I know someone who will help us. One moment. Let me see him just for one moment. <laughs> now go. I'm waiting for someone. Come back tomorrow morning. One moment. If only I could see him for just one moment. Come back one tomorrow moment. morning. But just one I'll moment. I'll do what I can. Quick now. Who are you? It's me, Samson. What have they done to you? 
What have they done? Your eyes. Your eyes. They didn't tell me. sun shining outside or is it raining I can see you do you know that if you tell me that it's raining outside and the frost has covered the fields and I can see you wrinkling your forehead as you used to do and if you tell me the sky is blue and the sun is warm and my father is well and I can see you smile. And I'll be happy, too. Oh. Feel it. It's grown again. Like it was before. But my strength hasn't come back. My eyes don't matter. Day by day, I felt it growing. I kept touching it at night. And now it is as it was before. My strength hasn't come back. It hasn't come back. I know. I was wrong. God chose me for our people's leader. And I betrayed him. Tomorrow, they'll take me to the temple of Dagon. The princes of the five cities are coming to see me in chains. I shall pray to God to make me the instrument of his divine will. You must pray too. Your father sent this. I had so many things to tell you. And I have told you so little. Forgive me.
Delilah. There is the judge of Israel, the leader of the Jews, the one who burned our crops, who destroyed our fields, killed our soldiers. The enemy of our people is now under our foot. Under the foot of Dagon. His great strength is gone. Destroyed forever. By a woman. Delilah. <gasps> My lord, I would like to go now. Am I to believe that you regret what you have done? You will stay.
Forgive me. Make me once more the instrument of your divine justice. And let me die. chosen of the Lord, and he will vow never to cut a hair of his head. It will be he who begins the deliverance of Israel from the hands of the Philistines. Mm -hmm. 